What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Monzi, and in today's video, you guys, 2K has added my favorite, favorite player of all time as a Dark Matter NBA 2K21 my team. Now, if you guys don't know, which I don't know how you guys would know, Danny Granger is my favorite player of all time in 2K, not in real life. They dropped out of position three, right? They made this card a center power forward. I listen like power forward like that's cool I guess what I don't get about out of position is if a player has never played that position why are you even dropping the card at that position if Danny Granger never played center or power forward why is he getting that card I see right if you want to drop a Ben Simmons point guard if you want to drop a Giannis point guard because those guys play point guard LeBron James plays point guard I'm cool with that but when we're dropping like Lamar Odom point guards like in Danny Granger centers, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to me. Uh, so I am, I'll just say that, I'll get that off my chest right away. I'm a little bit mad about that. The position is not ideal. We're gonna get right into reviewing this card. <clears throat> Starting off, height, everybody knows he's 6'9", 7'1", wingspan. The card art looks sick. The card art looks sick. If this just said point guard slash shooting guard, bro, oh my God. Like. Why not make him a good position? Like, if you're gonna make him a dark matter, why wouldn't you just make him a point guard shooting guard? Uh, 56 Hall of Fame badges, 13 gold badges. He's got all the hot zones. Um, all right, let's, let's go over the stats. Three pointer, beautiful. Uh, stats really don't, honestly. <laughs> the stats really do not matter at this at this stage of the game. 97 speed, 97 excel, 95 vert. Okay, that's cool. Um, 91 interior defense is. I, that's good enough. Perimeter defense is good. Ladder quickness is good. Rebounding, beautiful. Wow, this card is really good. 97 speed, 95. Wow. 90 driving dunk, that's all you really need. Wow, this card is really good stat wise. 95, like, and I'm saying that because I didn't think they were going to give him 97 speed, 95 speed with ball. That is beautiful. Badges. I hope he has blinders. Uh, let's see. Finishing badges, everything. He's got everything he needs. Beautiful. Beautiful. Shooting badges, he doesn't have blinders. The least you could have did was give him blinders, 2K. Okay, so yeah, he's got every shooting badge he needs, every finishing badge he needs, uh, but well, every shooting badge, but blinders. Playmaking badges, he's good. He's pretty much got everything he needs. I would like to see Dimer in Hall of Fame, but I don't really, I honestly don't really care. Um, especially in the dark matter. I, I actually kind of would like to see the, uh, Dimer in Hall, in Hall of Fame. Defensive badges. Wow, he's got every defensive badge. That's not normal okay um all right i mean badge wise stat wise he has everything he needs but blinders height perfect wingspan perfect everything's perfect to this point except for the position bro they're really gonna make me run this card at power forward man i swear to god 2k <laughs> we could have just we could have just dropped like i don't know throwback this week or something like freaking made him small forward shooting guard he has tony parker base why oh james worthy has that I mean, okay, that's not bad, I guess, but like, you know what? And I, and I hate to say this because I literally just saw he doesn't have, oh my God, he can't even curry slide. He can't even curry slide. I literally just saw that he could not curry slide. Guys, I hate to, I, I, I hate to say this, but this James Worthy card is just, <laughs> this James Worthy card is so much better than Danny Granger. Like, it's not even funny. Like a little, a free Danny, a free uh, James Worthy card that probably takes about three hours to get is better than Dark Matter or Danny Granger, bro. Uh, like two ca hashtag fix Danny Granger. Hashtag fix Danny Granger. There we go. Get that off my chest. Back to Danny Granger. Tony Park release seventy eight. Okay, that's his upper release usually, right? Yep. Um, I mean, is he bad? No, I mean, he's not, he's actually like half, like the reason why I'm complaining so much in this video is because like when you see Dark Matter and Danny Granger in the same sentence, you automatically think, okay, like probably one of the best players in the game. This card is nowhere near that. <laughs> this card is nowhere near one of the best players in the game. And I mean, honestly, like the fact that they didn't even give him Curry slide and they made him a power forward slash center row, like. It, it could have been a lot better. It could have been a lot better, but I mean, it's a dark matter Danny Granger. I'm gonna try to get a gameplay on him, I guess. We're gonna see how good he is in game. Maybe he's better, I don't know. I mean, that's nice that he has all the defensive badges. Um, and no blinders too, kind of sucks. Yeah, he's nowhere near 
even he's he's Tony Kukoc and Danny Fair are just literally 30 times better than this card. And that's what makes me mad too. Like I hate saying that because Danny Grader is my favorite player to play with in 2K of all time. Like 2K, like the one card you kind of had to screw up on. Like not even screw up because like honestly the card is very usable. Like don't get me wrong. It's just like, why couldn't you make him like juice? Like, bro, like, I don't get it. That's pretty much it for the video, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Go follow my Twitter. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Peace.